G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, today's vlog is in high vis. I'll tell you why in a minute. We need this top pocket for today's vlog. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, but, first of all, check out what I found. So this, this is more directed at the Patreons, but I found the Dimmy Comp. So, um, this morning when I got up, six in the morning, came in, turned the lights on, and uh, basically the, I saw the dimmy comp straight away when I walked in the room. So, um, basically that's the topic of this story. I've had a couple of South Gumtree sales. So that, so number one was I was catching the fish for the guy and it jumped out of my hand and I lost it in the pond. And I honestly thought like the barramundi or something ate it. So I ended up selling him a different fish cheap because I felt so bad. But the main topic of today's video is, um, I don't know if you guys remember Minado, my old boy. Um, I'll drop a picture here. So I actually sold him for $200 on the 18th of January. Now, the guy said he needed a week to organize the tank and then pick it up. So then, time went by, it was about two weeks and I messaged him and he's like, oh yeah, I'll be there in a couple of days, the tank's just cycling, it's almost done. So anyway, time went on it got to February and he gave me a date that he was picking up. Didn't come that day. And then from about February 20th or something, I didn't hear from him until today. Now, somewhere around March 15th to March 20th, Minato actually passed away. Basically what happened is I was selling him because I didn't have enough room for him. Um, he was in a basket, he wasn't happy in the basket, so I had moved him to a tank to condition him to sell him, and then after he was sold, I needed the tank back, so I had to move him back to the pond, and yeah, it just, it was no good. I told the guy buying it that it was in a shitty situation, that he needed to hurry up. But anyway, the, so the fish died in March 20th, which is like two months after I, he had bought the fish. I hadn't heard from him for over a month. So I was like, eh, I'll just leave it. If he contacts me, I'll offer him another boy from Charles Batch, mind you. So fish that I'm advertising for 350 to $400, I was willing to offer one of them as a replacement. So then, Time went on and time went on. I thought I was never going to hear from this guy. Today I get a message. Hi, I bought the fish off you. Can you please deliver to this address? I can't get to you. So then I was like, well, sorry, the fish has passed away. I sent him a photo. I was like, I can offer you this fish. If you look here, it's on Gumtree for $400. Like, you're getting the fish for half the price. And he's like, no... And then you're, I was like, it's about eight centimeters. He was like, no fish eight centimeters is worth $200. That was his reply. So then there was a bit of back and forth. To be honest, um, I wanted to give him nothing. Uh, three months leaving the fish at my house. I wanted to give him nothing. Um, I realized that's probably the wrong thing to do. So I, I, I made an offer. Anyway, I know 90% of you watching this video will be going, oh my God, is this guy crazy? I offered him an overseas bloodline fish for the price of an Australian bloodline fish. Anyway, so I was like, well, look, no, sorry. All I can offer is the fish. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm trying not to spend, I, I don't have the money to spend at the moment. Maybe a little white lie. I do have $200, but it's not the point. <laughs> um, 
I can either offer you the fish or nothing. And then he replies saying, I'll, I will take, he is obviously not very good at English, which I'm not holding that against him. That's fine. He goes, I will take two fish for $200 at that size. So I said, yeah, okay, no worries. But he's dug himself a hole. He was going to get a fish out of this five foot. These are my selects. Now this guy is getting two fish out of the IBCs. Um, I would actually, I'm that annoyed about it. I would like to give the guy complete culls. But A, I don't think, I, I, I don't want culls leaving my house full stop no matter who it is. And B, I actually don't think there's any culls left in the IBCs because I've been grooming through them at smaller sizes. The ones that are at eight centimeters in there are, are, are a decent quality. <clears throat> but anyway, so now we've got to find some fish. And so the reason we've got the top pocket is because my camera is going in my pocket when I meet up with this guy. Now, also, he doesn't have my address anymore, so I'm going to meet him at the shops, which he'll probably also be annoyed about as well because I'm not going to say it's the shop. I've got the address for the shop, and I'm just going to send him the actual address and see if he realizes that it's a shop before he gets there. But anyway, let's go, uh, let's go catch the fish. All right, guys. So I've caught two. There's one in that bag. Um, and there's one in the bucket. Let's get a, another bag here. Um, so that one I actually got out of the fish room. Um, I couldn't find any like low grade. Well, when I say low grade, they they are borderline coals. They're not really fish I'd be happy to sell with my name against them. Well, I'm not I'm not happy to sell them really. But at the end of the day, a low grade from this batch is still going to be as good if not better than the fish that he bought originally well it's going to be better I'm telling you that but anyway so um, this little boy he's, he lacks a little bit of script he's got no pearling down on his gill plate there that's the reason I'm willing to sell him or give him to this guy um, basically I don't like it when they don't have pearling there and also I'm a big advocate for a solid script but as for his shape, like, I wouldn't say he's beaky. He's still too small to call beaky. His face, his face isn't actually too bad. Um, I say it's a low-grade fish to me, let's be honest. That's still higher grade than anything in the pet shop. And the fact that this guy is getting two fish, he's getting way more than what he bargained for. Um, and then the other ones over here... That one's, a, that one's definitely a female. Um, I definitely wasn't going to give him two males. From what I can gather, he's only got one tank. So um, he's going to be just throwing them together. So I'm kind of banking on the fact that if I give him one girl and one boy, this boy will actually probably end up killing that girl. Um, but there's not much I can do about that. Like this guy, is, I, I've told him that two can't go in the tank together but he wants to so I honestly would give him a much better fish if he just took one I don't know I'm so can you guys actually tell how torn I am about this anyway I'm gonna bag this up all right guys let's go walking off with like five to six hundred dollars worth of fish to be honest maybe even more if I was selling, oh, I guess these aren't as high grade as the other. Yeah, we'll say $500 worth of fish. This guy's only giving me $200. And it's, it's, I just think, I don't know. Am I too kind? Like, should I just tell him stiff bickies? Three months it took him to pick up the fish, that, like the, the fish that's now dead. 
am I crazy for being annoyed that I don't want to give him fish? Like, I only want to give him that boy. And now because, what? like, if, if I give him nothing, I'm going to be the guy that took his money and never gave him a fish. But realistically, technically, he gave me $200. From that moment on, he owned the fish, but I was house-sitting it. If I'm house-sitting a fish for somebody else and it dies, like, I don't know. Drop a comment what you think happens in this situation. Um, I'm so torn whether... I, well, I honestly think one male, the male would have been bigger than this guy too. It would have been one of the 10 centimeter ones for $200 is half price. I think I was doing the right thing. Um, and now I just, one or both of them is going to end up dead because he's going to be putting them in a tank together. But anyway. I'm going to put my phone in my pocket when I meet up with him, so we see if we get an audio recording. For which one? For Mel. That one's the definite male. This oh, one, I'm not sure. Okay. So you remember when you came to my house? Yeah. Remember the really expensive fish on the left? Mm -hmm. These are the babies from that fish. I sell these for $400 each. Yeah. I showed you the gum tree ads. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry, the fish mm. died. There's nothing I could do. When yeah. I sold it to you, I said I couldn't keep it for long. I had nowhere to store it. Yeah. And you took three months. Yeah, because we've been locked down in overseas because of the virus. Yeah. And we couldn't get returned until the government has sent the flight. Okay, you never messaged me. I did message you when... You messaged when, me yeah. in February. Yeah, February. It's cause April. That time, because February that time we still over it's the April. <laughs> we're still in the quarantine. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm both choice then. They can they be put in together or? Uh, they they'll probably gonna, fight. They will fight, is it? Maybe. They're, they're young. Okay. All right. Uh, they'll be all right here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. See ya. Oh, guys, <laughs> he hardly got a word in. Um, he was such an almighty strong man in messages. And then when I started having to go at him, he just didn't say a word. Um, there's a few things to address. Number one is I don't, I didn't really want to share that audio, but full transparency, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to put it in the video because it, it's it's the truth of what I said. Um, basically, he said he was stuck in quarantine. That's why he couldn't pick up the fish. Why didn't he send me a message, A? And B, he bought the fish on like January 20th. I swear, I, I like I'm no fact checker here, but... I'm sure the lockdown didn't start until like near the end of February, like 20, 20th to 30th of Feb. Just Feb February doesn't even have 30 days. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, so, yeah, just, I don't know, <laughs> like, he was just full of rubbish. And then, like, I messaged him today saying you can't put these fish together. If, you, if I give you two, they cannot be together. And then in person, when I get there, he's like, will they be okay together? I'm like, did you not read my messages? <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah, they'll be fine together. <laughs> oh. I just can't believe I just gave $500 worth of fish to somebody who paid $200 for a fish and then... Not to mention I had the fish there and I was feeding it. So I probably gave it like 20 to $30 worth of food in the time that I was house sitting it or whatever you want to call it. Um, 
Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's just rattled my cage, this one. Um, after yesterday, having to give a guy a Dimachroma strigatus male for $20, Oh, that was the Patreon video. So basically, because the guy came for the Dimmy comp, um, I gave him one of the Strigatus males for the same price, but like the Strigatus male would have been clearly worth more, but that was my fault. Like I can't, I, I'm not blaming the guy. Like I'm just saying it's two days of like, fish leaving my house that shouldn't be leaving. <laughs> but anyway, the the struggle artist one's not that bad. He still wants to buy the Dimmy comp, so I guess I just sold two fish and that's 40 bucks. Um, sorry if this is a bit of a long-winded video, guys. I just wanted to... So I always say to you guys, my channel is completely transparent and I noticed no, not many YouTubers talk about the, um, the side of selling and it's just a shit show. <laughs> I hate it. Um, in good news, but I think I've managed to sell three flower horns. Um, it's funny, like people complain about the price and then I've got people, I, I like, I've got one guy that wants to buy two and he's like made me an offer, which is like great. Um, it's cool guys. We've, we might have it. I've got to actually ring Qantas and see if I can get fish on shipping. The only problem is I probably have to wear a bit of the shipping because it's going to be more expensive than Virgin, but I don't know if, I don't think I can fly Virgin at the moment, but anyway, that's a story for another day. You guys will come along with me for that because what do we do when we send fish out? We do a bagging video and um, one of the guys actually watches the channel so he'll actually see his fish get bagged before I send it. Um, I think we're going to be moving some flower horns around tomorrow too, guys. Um, it's time to get some more breeding going. I haven't bred flower horns for a while, so... Well, in saying that, I bred the Texas cross flower horns, but they're not fish that I can sell. So I haven't bred flower horns that are good to sell for a while. Anyway, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. If you want more Gumtree experiences, let me know because there's definitely plenty of them. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.